Hello. Um, so I was born and raised in Boston, the only child to immigrant parents who migrated here from West Africa in search of greater opportunity. And growing up, I felt fortunate to live in Massachusetts, not just being in the U.S., but specifically being in Boston, because residents always emphasize how the area was home to wonderful schools, medical institutions, and near universal health insurance. But there was a chasm, however, between this perception of life in the Commonwealth and my personal lived experience. And for a while, I was very confused. But as I got older, I was able to learn more and see more. And I eventually learned about what disparities are. And I believe that disparities and social determinants are the biggest health-related issues impacting the Black community today. It's no secret that the environment in which people live plays a role in health issues and are key drivers of health inequities, placing certain populations at a greater risk for poor health outcomes. For example, the burden of asthma in the United States falls disproportionately on black people, and research suggests that environmental factors play a role in triggering asthma. But if we take a closer look at environment, we're exposed to a plethora of environmental injustices adversely affecting black communities nationwide. Black communities are exposed to higher proportions of air pollution, toxic waste, landfills, lead poisoning, and more, resulting in many health issues. We could take a look at Cancer Alley, the stretch of the Mississippi River between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. This region received its nickname because of its high concentration of petrochemical facilities, and residents in the area have a significantly higher risk than the average American of developing cancer. And those who live in the area, are predominantly black. Miscarriages and other health issues are also commonly reported in the region. Historical injustices and racism in healthcare contributes to health disparities and health practitioners must play a role in doing something about it. It's critical we learn about social and economic conditions that may put some patients at a higher risk for having a health problem and collecting data to monitor and track this. Next, an intersectional approach to achieving health equity is necessary. We have to work collaboratively with primary care physicians, community resource providers, policymakers to create a comprehensive and coordinated approach to patient care. All of this is why I'm pursuing a Master of Public Health degree, so I can learn public health concepts through the lens of disparities in access and be equipped with the expertise that I need to become a trusted leader to positively transform communities near and far, especially for the most vulnerable. Thank you again for this incredible opportunity.